From free animation tools to commercial software, we have a wide range of options at our disposal to create 2D or 3D animations nowadays. This is why we thought of making things easier for you by making full comparisons between all these options. In this video, let's extend the series from the perspective of a new comparison, OpenTunes vs Adobe Animate. We will also share some very interesting courses from Domestica with great discounts at checkout. So stick around till the end if you want to know more. Let's begin with a brief overview on both software. First, OpenTunes is a 2D animation and graphic design software. Besides being the free and open source version of Toons, it provides you with a range of powerful tools that allow you to make various animation styles. Second, Adobe Animate is a vector animation software and it's part of the creative suite of Adobe. It allows you to create 2D animations, video presentations, and much more. The use cases of any software will depend on your needs and what you want to achieve in the first place. But some software are better suited for some cases than others. On one hand, we have OpenTunes that can be especially useful if you want to rely on classic hand-drawn line art and merge it with the modern aspect of animation. As the successor of Studio Ghibli's main production software, it proved itself to be on the professional level. It had a hand in making famous shows like Futurama, Princess Mononoke, Anastasia, and many others. On the other hand, Animate is also perfect for creating interactive animation content, since it's extensively used for TV and web series purposes. It produces overkill flash animations and graphics, so much so that it's also very popular in the video games industry. Not to mention that you can benefit from the social share feature, exporting your work as a 360 VR animation for immersive experiences. When it comes to the interface, there's a clear distinction to be made. OpenTunes doesn't have the most intuitive interface, so let's break it down to clarify. For the layout, it uses an X-sheet, so the timeline is arranged vertically with a few alignment custom options. It's one of the main unusual factors that contributed at making the interface kinda hard to handle at first. For the workspace, it's divided into rooms that serve a very specific purpose each. The default ones are basics, cleanup, drawing, timeline, animation, palette, X-sheet, browser and farm. Jump into Animate, we can say that it has the same usual Adobe interface. It's intuitive, organized, simple to get around, in addition to being highly customizable. The huge number of tools though can overwhelm you at first, but it's probably the only thing that might make it difficult to approach. These specific traits of the UI can directly affect the learning curve. OpenTunes has a steep learning curve because of how unusual the interface is. Although many users consider it beginner-friendly, it can be very challenging to learn how to use it. Looking at the other side of the comparison, Animate is a lot easier to digest and very good for beginners. It's especially easy to get a grip of if you're familiar with Adobe's ecosystem. Nevertheless, it might require some extra time to grasp the massive toolset. If you're interested in learning how to use Adobe Animate, we recommend you try Domestica. It's one of the best e-learning platforms that offer dozens of classes tailored exclusively for the creative community all around the world. There's a plethora of design categories that can align with your interests, and you can dive into them with the assistance of highly experienced instructors and passionate students like you and me. For example, I've taken this class about hand-drawn digital illustrations brought to life by Yukai Du. Honestly, no wonder it was awesome. I mean, the instructor worked for huge names like Spotify, MTV, and even Apple. The content of the course is rich and well-paced. First, you'll start by performing research and development by compiling references, preparing your mood board, and creating your color palette to build upon. The next thing will be taking your first steps with Photoshop. You'll use it to prepare assets like thumbnails, stylized frames, and storyboards. After that, it's time for the fun part. 
you'll actively use Adobe Animate and After Effects to bring your illustrations to life. Finally, you'll wrap it up by rendering and sharing your work. Our audience here at Inspiration.2D can benefit from 10% off at checkout using our promo code. If you're interested in this offer, you can find all the necessary links in the description. Now that you have a better idea about the program's interfaces, let's have a closer look at the art tools. Starting with OpenTunes, it offers a wide range of brushes that go beyond 200 tweakable formats. Using them, you can simulate various classic mediums, like watercolor, oil painting, acrylic, and much more. It also grants you the ability of seamlessly scanning your hand-drawn artworks. With four different types of scanning that complies with the Twain standards, you can expect maximum levels of accuracy. Either black and white or colored, binarized or not, you can pretty much do it all. You can also save the settings to use them in further projects and avoid pointless repetition. Not to mention that this system supports both raster and vector technologies. This is why you'll find three types of layers that you can choose from. The raster type, the tunes type, and the hybrid type that merges both. Looking at things from the opponent perspective now, Adobe Animate comes with amazing and interactive tools. Animate provides you with all the necessary tools to work on building your graphic elements effectively. The frequent ones are the Pen Tool, Selection Tools, Eraser, Transform Tools, and multiple shapes like Rectangle, Ellipse, and much more. All of these are vector-based for maximum levels of quality. The brushes are very easy to use, and the vector ones are even more interesting since they're pressure-sensitive. This will help you sketch and draw characters smoothly and naturally. If you want to save some time, Animate offers you many templates that you can use and customize. It also grants you access to a rich media library with drag and drop options to ease the process. Have a scanning feature for physical line art, but it's not anywhere near as good as the one that comes with OpenTunes. You can use it and tweak the parameters to achieve some sort of a digitized version to make your project richer nonetheless. Things get a little tougher when comparing animation tools. OpenTunes provides you with many of them to perform traditional, cutout, or keyframe animation. It allows you to use the onion skin feature to view frames and their respective elements back and forth. This will help you transition your art between frames in a coherent way without any mispositioning mistakes, making the whole thing a lot smoother, especially when your animation is complex and you have to rely on the frame-by-frame -frame one instead of the tweened. This is backed up with a motion tweening tool, however, which is suitable for simpler animation purposes. It helps you get that movement illusion rolling in the most believable way, without too much of a hustle adding views in between your keyframes. Not to mention that you can make your composition richer using the wide range of styles, distortions, and visual effects. Animate is also good for frame-by-frame -frame and keyframe animation, but there are a few differences to spot. We can mention, for example, the fact that you can only use vector graphics. If you happen to be needing a bitmap or raster image, you'll have to break it up or vectorize it. Unlike OpenTunes that supports both raster and vector graphics, and has a very reliable interconversion system to make everything compatible with your workflow. Moving to rigging tools, you'll notice that both software equally display powerful features to a certain extent. You can use the skeleton tool to set up bones and build a rig. The hook tool will extend the possibilities of what you can do by helping you move the rig points with ease. You have the great plastic tool that can be very handy when deforming your meshes. And of course, the whole process supports inverse kinematics. Adobe Animate follows pretty much the same pattern, except that it's a lot simpler. However, you're very likely to need third-party plugins or other software to fully complete the task. Most users end up relying on Character Animator for the rigging process. Compositing is a whole other story and it's one of the core differences. 
The reason for this is the fact that OpenTunes has a compositing system, unlike Animate that falls behind in this area and requires third-party tools for this specific task, like After Effects for example. Finally, there's one last factor that can probably break the tie, if any, which is the pricing. OpenTunes is free and open source as we mentioned before, even if you decide to use it for commercial ends. Adobe Animate, however, is a paid tool with a 21 days free trial option. The most popular plan is the Creative Cloud bundle that includes Animate and the rest of the products. It will cost you around $30 per month and roughly $240 per year. As a conclusion, you can see that choosing one of these software depends on many factors besides your needs as an animator. For example, if you prefer simplicity and you're willing to financially invest in it, you can go for Animate. But if your work could use your drawing skills and you don't mind the steep learning curve, OpenTunes would be a better choice. We hope you found this video useful and informative. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.